everyone. I'm a little emotional this morning. Um, when am I not emotional? But um, I was looking at my grades, and um, the semester isn't over yet, but it's pretty close to being done. And by my calculations, it looks like I'm going to fail both of my classes this semester. Um, and that's hard because it um, school takes a lot of my energy. It takes a lot of my spoons. It takes a lot for me to sit there and think. And then it, you know, it takes a lot for me to process things and you know whatever else and you know I log in two three times a week you know I've logged in on days when I'm feeling chronic pain when I'm feeling depressed when I'm feeling anxious when you know my body just doesn't work correctly that day you know what I mean and I don't think that counts for anything when I think it should because when I mentioned, um, I mean, not that I'm trying to pull the disability card because a lot of people pull the disability card, but um, over the summer, last, sem last summer, I took this art history class. And um, when I said, so you wanna, come here, buddy. Um, when I said that I was disabled, um, the teacher thought it was like, really inspiring and really good that, you know, you're trying to get your education and, you know what I mean? Higher education is not for everyone and I literally regret going so much because, honestly, I've failed more classes because of my disability and I don't know if it's because I'm too anxious to get the work done or... If it's because I, um, hold on, I'm going to let the dog out. So I don't know if I'm too stupid to get the work done with my disability. I don't know if I'm too anxious, if I'm too whatever, but it's just, it's a challenge and I think it's always been a challenge and I'm one of those people that can cover it up really well, but because I have help behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Like I was always in mainstream normal classes um, you know, as my peers when I was in school, like public school, but then I always had help with the algebra, with the science, with the biology, with the English, with the Shakespeare, you know, with all of that. Um, I would have a resource period where I would go and get math homework done. I would go and get all my homework done. They would help me. They would like literally sit there and help me do each problem, each question, each paragraph, each whatever I needed, anything. Um, and you actually got graded for that class. So I actually got credit for getting help. It was like a graded study hall because it was in my IEP and stuff. 
But anyway, like, I just don't know what it is. But, like, I mean, like, okay, so in in college, you can get um, accommodations if you meet with certain people and you get the papers signed. Um, Now, I probably should have done it for online classes, but it's not the... It's not the time. I can manage my time very well. I have alarms. I have my planner, which I haven't used in a while. But I have planners, notebooks, alarms, apps, everything out the out the wazoo. And it's not the time management because, unfortunately, about all of the accommodations they can give you is extended time. Um, like, they're not going to sit there and have, like, a paraprofessional or a teacher literally sit there and do every question with you, which is what I need. I mean, you should see my mom, not really this semester because she's been busy with my grandma, but when I need it, she helps me. But, like, you know, you should see semesters past, we would spend... Well, like, when we were trying to get me to pass math and stuff for the four times that I've took, taken that class, or three times taken the class, we we would spend hours, hours and hours and hours and hours doing homework. She would have a notebook, I would have a notebook, we would do the problem, and then we would compare notes. And then my answer would be way hella off, and then she would get the right answer, and then she would explain to me how I do it. But we we went through papers, pencils, notebooks, every, like we had everything. We had highlighters. We had, you know what I mean? Because sometimes with numbers, I can't see the number because my vision. So she would hi- highlight the equation like crazy. And, you know, I, I got special paper. But, like, you know, I basic, basically what I need is I basically need someone to hold my hand and do the problem with me. And college doesn't give you that. Which, I mean, it's kind of sad that I've come to the realization of that now. When I'm 31 credits in and I only need 27 left. Because if it was my choice, I would leave tomorrow. But... Then what does that say about me? I'm a quitter. You know what I mean? I should have never started. I should have been smart like my friend Cassidy and realized that my health was not the best. And I should have taken a gap year because then if you take gap years, you're less likely to go in for the longer that you've been out. You know what I mean? I should have done that. But no, I fell into the pressure of everyone else going and you know it's not it's not easy you know what I mean I literally said and and for me the part that bothers me is it's psychology because I know that nutrition is like science and biology and whatever that may be hard fine I don't know I haven't done work in that class in like a week because I keep checking and nothing is posted so that is also not my fault either You know what I mean? Like, it's not my fault if I keep checking and nothing is posted. Um, I mean, people may think it is, but it's not. Um, and I don't know. I just, I'm just really, like, torn up about what to do. Because then, you know, I'm taking a summer span. I'm taking a Spanish class online. Um... And my cousin has already offered to help me. Cassidy has already offered to help me. My mom has already offered to help me. And I'm taking help from day one because I'm not going to sit there at the 11th hour trying to pass. I'm going to start off strong or at least consistent, you know. But, you know, then then I'm bringing home a dog in the midst of that summer. Um, I'll have her... I'll have them have her, it, her, him, I'll have them, um, before, you know, a few weeks before 
the class starts, but still I'm going to be, you know, possibly potty training. I'm going to be possibly meeting with a trainer if she has spots open. I'm going to possibly, you know, be needing to take her to pet-friendly places, and then depending on how she does, I'm going to take her to non-pet-friendly places, you know? I'm going to need to take her to the car to get used to the car. I'm going to need to take her to, you know, um, my friend's house to socialize with their dogs. I'm going to need to take her to, you know, a gym to try to get her to walk on a treadmill. Days I can't walk her, or days it's raining, or God forbid we're in the hospital, you know, she can go run on the treadmill. My friend's going to help me to train her, train the dog how to do that. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be training a child. Like, I'm going to have a child, basically, because that's what this dog is going to be. You know what I mean? That's what Sully is. He needs his um, needs taken care of, and so does this dog. So, I mean, not that I'm... Like, not that it's an excuse, but I literally told this woman in my introduction post, I said, I'm disabled, I'm raising a service dog because I knew at some point in the semester I'm getting a dog, and it looks like it's going to be when the class ends, but she doesn't know that. So I said, I'm raising a service dog for myself, I'm disabled, my grandmother has dementia, so like, all these units about... Memory are very triggering to me because there's no hope for my grandmother, basically. We just have to keep her happy, healthy, safe, and comfortable. Um, I mean, there's no fancy new medications she could take that would give her her memory back. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just been a really tough semester. I mean, I had a lot of medical issues. And, you know, I feel like, I feel like sending her my vlog channel and telling her, go watch my videos from January to April. And then you could see, what, or April, no, January to May, because it starts in January. And then you could go see what the hell I've been through. I've been through losing friends. I've been through my own sicknesses. I've been through my grandmother's sicknesses. I've been through searching for a service dog prospect. I've been through um, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm not saying that's an excuse, but, like, if I ask you a question, you should be able to answer it. Like, I asked her, I was like, what is so wrong about my paper? She couldn't answer that for me. Dumb. Absolutely dumb. I don't know. It's just really hard to keep going when you feel like you're failing already and you feel like you're letting everybody down and you feel like you have nothing to show for anything. <sighs> like, I feel like a total loser because what loser decides to go to college but then needs help from their mommy for every single homework assignment? No, you shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, like... Um, I think it's just hard for me because, like, I'm in the middle on the ability scale. Like, I'm not so disabled that, you know, like, I have, um, you know, Down syndrome and it's more my mental disabilities. Like, I have mental disabilities because I have anxiety, depression, OCD, and PTSD. But, you know, I mean... Well, I can't do math, so I can't be a cashier. But, like, I also can't go up into the Dunkin' Donuts and say, hey, give me a job, because I physically can't sit on my, or I can't, can't physically stand on my own two feet for six hours a day. You know what I mean? So I, I'm physically limited, but I'm also mentally limited, too. So I'm, but I'm like right in the middle because there are some things physically that I can do if everything is set up correctly, if my rights are uh, taken into consideration for like the bathroom and my desk and, you know, the room and, you know, moving around and 
being able to get out safely in case of an emergency. You know what I mean? If that's all set up for me, I'm good to go work in an office. But, you know what I mean? If they put me on the sixth floor and there's only stairs to get up that building, you know, then that's not really good for me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just a lot. There's no book on how to be disabled, but a little bit of guidance would be nice. But, like, I can't even have, I can't even ask other people because everybody's journey is different. And that's what sucks. You can have the same disability as someone, but your journeys will be completely different.